<laughs> yes, beautiful. Yes, mommy. Yes. Yes, baby. Those are just her favorite shoes in the world. How beautiful. Happy birthday, my queen. Happy birthday. Look at your beautiful self. Got the pacifier all in the shot after I try so hard to hide it. Uh huh. You gonna give me a trouble? She two years old. She don't need no pacifier. Yes, this baby do need a pacifier. You want her to set your house on fire? You 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 want her to grab the steering wheel and crash the car? If she don't have her pacifier, she gonna kill everybody. <laughs> My baby crazy. <laughs> She don't have her pacifier. She'll punch somebody in the face. She punched me in the face when she don't got it. With her little crazy self. Man, it's a lot that's going on, y'all, okay? It's a lot going on, all right? So it's not just, like, everything is not normal right now. But guess what? This mom right here always makes the best decisions for her children. So we got another one, like. You, you know, when I be like, oh, well, I have four children and uh, I only got one right now. Let me explain something to you. The medicine and all of that stuff I showed you, I'm working on myself right now. I'm allowed to be the correct type of mother. I'm allowed to, you know, fix my mental health, my physical health, everything about my health. I'm allowed to do that, okay? I'm not allowed to sit here and have my kids like in a messed up position okay not to say i would do something to them it's just you know <sighs> with maya and it's not to blame her like it, i'm not blaming her she needs a lot of attention she needs listen to these words that i'm saying my queen needs a lot of attention all my other children, man, they were normal, okay? When I say normal, they know how to sit down, watch TV. They won't set the house on fire. They won't stick their finger in the socket. They won't jump off a roof. They won't click the car in gear to drive it forward. Like, no, they were normal children. Yeah, my son, one of my sons have um, the same issues as Maya, where he's, like, autistic, dealing with his emotional <gasps> go rounds so it's like i'm dealing with my health right now so all i can physically take care of is this one beautiful child right here and it was like a surrogacy thing where now she has a beautiful mother a beautiful grandmother and she's been spoiled to the core so yes i've made the best decisions for all my children for what the places that they went my son has his father and his father will literally go to war for his son and i know right now he's at war with himself just like me um yeah he was put into a position where he had to take care of his son and he's going to get back on track as soon as he get his mental health back in check because yeah I, I learned a few things about what was going on and I have to sit here and I have to realize he's not normal like his father isn't normal I'm not normal we both was on medication when we were together and um yeah it was so bad I was even taking his medicine to uh try to help my mental you know stability and stuff but everywhere I go people tell me I am a good mother I do not do anything to my children so i wish i would hear somebody say oh you this you might do something to i wish you would i'm gonna do something to you that's what i'm gonna do <laughs> i don't want nobody thinking i'm gonna hurt my children i protect my children with my life and right now my life is i'm broke <laughs> i'm struggling <laughs> I'm taking care of my children the best way i can and unlike my mother who dragged us down she dragged us down. She dragged us way down. 
I, I will always say that she dragged us down along with her being broke, not having a job and trying to afford a house. The lights getting cut off. Guess what? All I can afford is rent and one child. So if that's all I'm physically able to do. That's what I will do. And with that being said, yes, everybody is taken care of. My mental health was taken care of. I'm getting my eyes fixed and everything. So I have made the right decisions because how am I going to get surgery if I have a young child to look after? Hmm? Please tell me that. She keeps running in and out the shot and I can't like zoom around because I have, we literally just, that's a towel. So we literally just got out the shower. She's the only one dressed. So I'm trying to keep out the shot. I'm trying to keep out the shot, young lady. So can you kind of get away from me and go be cute somewhere else? <laughs> now she's about to start destroying the costume. That's why I'm filming it. But yeah, I'm not going to be telling this story anymore. If you don't watch our videos, oh well. I will not be bringing up anything else. Princess is now with her mom. Her name is going to be Princess Brown. And that's okay. just that. She's taken good care of. And she, oh my God, I'm, I'm going to try not to cry behind camera. Oh, she is the luckiest baby ever. She gets to have a mom. She gets to have a grandmother. She gets to be spoiled. She, like, I've never had that. I never, ever got taken care of. Like, oh, I'm about to cry. I never had somebody to love me the way that princess and queen are being loved. Oh, she knows when I'm upset. She keeps trying to come near me when I'm upset, so I don't try to get emotional but it's 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 heartbreaking i've never had somebody to love me ever no one has ever said these words i love you to me no one has ever came and gave me a hug until i met princess's grandmother and i'm just i'm heartbroken like i i, I wish I just wish my life wasn't so messed up. I wish it wasn't so messed up. But this is why I'm I'm battling depression. I'm battling thoughts. Not of suicide. I'm battling thoughts of what to do with my children. And why did it happen this way? What can I do to make it better? The thoughts of suicide passed. Like when I was a child and my mom used to just come and just hit me for no whoo got to block out the curse word <laughs> hit me for no freaking reason she was abusive and stuff so i don't have no good i got to I, I okay talking about this i got to block out some words before i say them my childhood was just nothing but abuse in every type of form of abuse verbal verbal physical sexual all of it okay all types of abuse so i'm battling right now with my life you got your book baby i'm battling okay i'm not just sitting up here just living every day like oh i'm free i guess to do this i guess to do this no every day i think of a way that i can make my children have large bank accounts i'm thinking of ways that my children will be successful without me i'm thinking of ways that if i die right now my children are going to be okay i'm not thinking of ways to go sit up here and buy bands and be like oh i'm fine let me just be selfish i'm not selfish i love my children to death and to death do us part she is my soulmate Soulmates don't just be somebody you love. Soulmates are that one person, just that one soulmate that just brings out the best in you for the rest of your life. I'm praying that she does not get older and leave me and be like, oh, well, I got a boyfriend now, mommy. Bye. I'm going to go fly to Japan and never see you again. I would die. 
I would die without her. Like, what, what would I do without her? So I'm trying to think of ways where if something just goes sideways, I'm prepared for it. So when you watch my videos, you are supporting my vision of success. You are not supporting a vision of self selfish. I don't know if it's called selflessness or selfishness. Either way, it got self in it. And I'm not thinking about myself right now. I, I Wait, wait, wait. I'm fixing myself. Yes, I'm fixing myself. I've been hit by a car. I've been robbed, almost killed. I've been in a accident on a bus where the bus just got boom total so you know what and again i've been abused so 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 i'm sitting here strong as i am battling for my children i'm battling so you gotta battle with me just battle with me don't battle against me i mean no harm i'm happy i'm successful in a way where I'm able to take care of at least one of my children. So that's very successful without CPS swooping in and just taking over. No, my children are not in CPS. All my children are in great positions in life right now. And yes, yeah, she's been a billy goat. She used to do this when she was a baby. She still does it <laughs> where she just eats paper and stuff.